So these are the two prints that I printed based off that monotype. And remember, I did the blend roll, which you can see on the left here. And that is the color, fully vibrant. And I cut out that stencil and laid the bird on top of that. And that blocked out the ink in that area. And then on the right, what you're seeing is I left that piece of paper um, on there where the bird had been, peeled it off, and then there was a little bit of residual ink behind it where it blocked off the ink here, but it's still behind that piece of paper, peeled it off, printed that, and that's the Cognate. I kind of like the qualities of the Cognate. It has sort of an Eastern feel to it, or more maybe a more somber mood, a little bit uh, like a rainy day or something. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the bird into that white space. So I'm gonna print a second layer on this. So we're gonna come over here to do this, and you can see the first thing that I did is I traced the bird exactly where it was on the plexiglass. So this will line back up with my original print. So if I set the paper down in the right place, boom, that bird will line up perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oops, sorry, bump to the camera. I'm going to paint using burnt plate oil. Just do a little bit of burnt plate oil. I'm gonna lay that out here. I also have a little bit of solvent here. I'm gonna pour that there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bird and I'm gonna place it behind my plexiglass so I can see where the colors are and everything. Oh, one thing that I didn't mix is a black, or a brown, I mean. Line that original Sharpie drawing up. And this should line up perfectly. You could tape this on the back, or you could just look at the photo itself and use that as a reference. I'm just putting this behind there to give myself a sense of where the layout is. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. You could also do this in um, layers flat, like keep going with the stencil process. In other words, now do like this shape as a stencil, do this shape as a stencil and keep building it up that way. But I'm gonna do a, like a painterly approach and I'm gonna take some of my blue, make it paintable. This is gonna be so dope, y'all. It's gonna be amazing. You hyped to see it? Just taking this color and just quite simply painting the different values where I see fit. You could also draw back into this, right? Take the end of the brush and do some little marks like this for some funsies. We'll take a little bit of the black. Take my smaller brush here for the eyeball.
and then that's white so really it's already white so I don't necessarily need to do a ton there does that make sense because the paper's already white and that's white but maybe just do a couple of touches to make it look like there's some texture in there and so wherever you don't have wherever I'm not brushing ink out right now it's gonna stay white that makes sense so this is kind of working additively here but also keeping in mind what's already on your paper and how those inks are going to interact. Let's see, I'm gonna make a brown. It's a pretty nice brown. For my sticky. And then now I'm going to print this right over top of that first layer that I did. You might want to peek at this before we do this, but here is my birdie chirpy right there. I'm going to lay this on the press bed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this first layer over here. And remember, this is the flipped image here, but I'm going to line this up when I go to print it. Take my gloves off. Now this is still somewhat damp from the first go at it. I'm gonna line this up, and if you wanted to, so if you just line right up like that, it should be good to go, but if you wanna peek and cheat, you can see how it lines up. That's pretty good. It looks like I need to move it a little bit. Voila, look at that. I'm gonna print this, okay? Peace, I'll show you what it looks like after I print it.